right, this is Andy Leslie with Great Lakes Racecraft out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. We specialize in supercharged Kawasaki's and Suzuki's in the road racing and drag racing world. So they want to keep the parts attrition as low as possible and have something that's going to be fun and definitely make horsepower. So... I think let's let's give the the listeners some perspective uh, so they know where you're coming from. Give us an idea. Give us give us tell us about a bike that you that you built. Something uh, that in in a 700 750 somewhere around around that range uh, bike that you did that was kind of crazy. So we can get an idea. What what did you start out with stock and now uh, what did you end up with? Well, we we uh, our shop bike our our uh, Pro Street. Um, Supercharged, it's got a Pro Charge, ATI Pro Charge, uh, C1R head unit on it. Uh, that bike, we pulled it out of the crate from Kawasaki, uh, did the normal ECU flash, put a Vance and Hind Sidewinder on it, and, uh, you know, we put the bike through the paces on the dyno from right out of the crate. We still had, still had the Kawasaki oil in it, it came with. We broke it in and uh, left the oil in it and ran it on the dyno. We ended up at 207 horsepower on 92 octane fuel. Um, wow. very respectable for, a, uh, essentially a stock machine. Um, you know, just absolutely astounded with that. We couldn't believe the numbers that we were seeing out of the bike. At first we thought it was a fluke. So we took the bike to a different dyno and it produced the same numbers there. And, uh, what are the stock numbers? Just, what's that? What were the stock numbers? What'd you start with? Uh, baseline right out of the crate, the bike made 183 to the tire. Um, after the ECU flash and the exhaust and no other tuning or anything, it put down 206 and some wow. change, almost 207 horsepower. So we were very impressed with that. That's the first time I've ever seen a production motorcycle with such little done ever break 200 horsepower or even come close to 200 in the real world, you know. Um, so we took that bike and I started with the 2012 ZX14R because I wanted to do something different for the pro street class because as anybody that follows, uh, you know, DOT tire motorcycle racing or Ricky Gatson or Richard Gatson, his nephew, knows that the predominant drag racing world is is uh, inundated with the Suzuki Hayabusa. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to do something different. So in doing something different, I wanted to supercharge that bike because there are nobody running a supercharged Kawasaki in professional racing at all. Wow. Um, preliminarily, we built the bike to run in the real street class, same as Ricky Gatson. Um to do some testing and make sure that the platform and what we were trying to do was going to be successful at work. And we were floored with the first few dyno hits on the motorcycle producing just over 500 horsepower um, with relatively low boost. We just could not believe it. And uh, What's relatively low boost? With, relatively low boost was like 12 to 14 pounds of boost. It made just over, four, just over 500 horsepower um, with around 260 foot pounds of torque, 270 foot pounds of torque, and we just could not believe how that bike responded to the boost from the supercharger. That's insane. Um, so we took it a step further, and we went in and we, uh, you know, we designed a heavy duty rod and piston with CP and Carillo. Um, they've been absolutely great in helping move forward with this project because a lot of the stuff that comes off the shelf would not live in the new motor when we stepped the boost up to 36 pounds. Um, we designed a new connecting rod, a new piston. Um, we've got developed our own cam prep, camshaft profiling and uh, timing events there. And at 36 pounds of boost at 12,800 RPM, we put down just over 760 horsepower. That is insane. I don't even know what that means. I mean, that's, that's and numbers. That, and and, that's, and that's, that's on uh, VP Race Fuel's uh, import, VP Import Race Fuel. Uh, so we're still on gasoline, too. At the drag strip, um, in not Pro Street legal trim, uh, 75-inch wheelbase with a slick on it, still using a hand slider clutch. Uh, our best 60-foot to date is a 1, 1.1860 foot. The best we've done in the eighth mile so far was a 438 at 182 miles per hour. That's 660 foot. We went 182 miles per hour. Woo! And that, so that's to give everyone a pers some perspective. So this is the kind of stuff that you are capable of doing and that at, you know, is possible. Now, Kawasaki Absolutely. is nowhere going to be in that range. They are selling to, uh, you know, retail market or whatever. So with that in mind, let's tone things down. And uh, what do you well, think? I, I, well, if, if we back up a second to the 2012 ZX14R, 
um, Ricky, who is a good friend of mine, Ricky Gatson, he, uh, you know, stock wheel base with the stock mufflers on the motorcycle, you know, went high nine second passes on that bike, you know, with a true stock off the showroom floor motorcycle, um, around 180 horsepower. If the new H2 is on a leader bike platform of some sort and makes anywhere near that horsepower, I venture to see that bike. Freedom, it's liberating to get on your bike and just go and take a nice ride. All the problems seem to go away.